Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modelling and the Midlife Crisis. My name's Andy, and as some of you may be aware, I'm going on a bit of a 10 build marathon over the next 10 days, where I'm going to be building uh, 10 Japanese fighter, sort of fighter scout light bomber aircraft. Uh, the first one on the desk is this Tamiya 172 Shoki Nakajima Ki-44 Tojo which as you can see is painted in this rather striking uh, aluminium and red and white markings. Uh, this is how I'm gonna hope, hope being the uh, word to actually paint this one up. As we've discussed in our What's in the Box um, video, which you may or may not have seen, but it is in the library. Our um, decals are kind of discolored, so we're gonna put them in the sun. If we get any in North Wales, that is. And hopefully they might, um, bleach out a bit as you can see i've um kind of made a bit of a start on this um i've done a bit of pre-painting i've done i think all the um extra work that needs to be done so i'm just going to run, run you through what i'm going to do what i've actually done so far with painting and etc um, I'm only going to put the main body of the aircraft together i'm going to be leaving bits like the undercarriage and the propeller off until later on. Um, kind of learnt me lesson there. It's easy to stick these things on once you've um, painted the thing up. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of sushi as it's um, well. I'm going to be eating and eating Japanese food and uh, drinking some Japanese beer. I've got me bottle bottle of asahi, which is um, strangely enough. Let's see, it's not brewed in Japan. It's brewed in Italy. So that's a bit of a fraud, isn't it? Never mind. Still taste okay. So anyway, what we've actually done so far, as you can see, we painted our propeller up. We painted it in red, uh, Tamiya XF7, and we used. I just used this rubber black XF85 on it because I've, the only other one I've got is a gloss, and it kind of looks a bit glossy at the end of the day. I'm not a big fan of it. We've painted this part of the engine. Um, I've done this in Tamiya XF84 Dark Iron. And then I've picked out certain parts of the engine in this flat aluminium XF16 just to give it a bit of contrast because we are going to be painting it in an aluminium shade. The uh, undercarriage I've done as well in um, the wheels I've done in XF85 rubber black and the, uh, the suspension mechanism, don't know what that is, what you call it. I've done an XF84 dark iron. I mean, I think I'd probably normally use an aluminium shade for that, but I thought against the aluminium of the undercarriage um, covers, it would just, well, I thought well, that'd look a bit better at the end of the day. I've done a half decent job on the tires, I think. They do need a bit of touching up. Um, inside, we can see, I've actually taken the liberty of painting up my um, figures. That's the first time I've ever painted a 172 figure up. Uh, for that, I broke into my uh, AK leather and buckle set for this leather brown. And I also broke into my AK flesh and skin set and took out the highlight flesh to do that. Uh, we painted up three figures there for the other kits we're going to be doing on Monday and Tuesday. Um, as you can see inside, I've painted it um, in... It's not quite the right colour, cockpit green Imperial Japanese Navy. So that's XF71. So yeah, um, I've had to stick this together. It didn't really seem to fit very well. I had to hold it for quite some time and still the fit is not great. But I mean, let's not forget this is a 1964 tool. Um, it's, you know, so it is, it's, it's, it's ancient. So it just doesn't really fit together. And I've tried multiple ways to try and do it and I just... That was about as good as I can get it, I think. So there we go. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to have a little bit of a snack and have a bit of this uh, sushi, which is a uh, hoisin duck. Oh, I need to put my uh, need to put the soy sauce on that. Mmm, nice. There's our soy sauce all used up. I'll just have that one. Tasty, tasty. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to try and follow the instructions as best we can, but we're going to leave a lot of the parts off. So I'm going to put the wings together. 
Mm, that's quite nice. I've already put these flaps together. So let's see how we get on. I'm going to try and take my time, so I'm afraid this might be a bit of a long video. That's why I did uh, take the option of uh, pre-building a load of pieces, because I still haven't figured out how to do, get old, do this editing malarkey. I'm actually using a combination of Tamiya Extra Sin and Tamiya Regular Cement. I do have a habit of just using the one brush though, because one is bigger than the other. So let's just get some of this. This is just the regular Tamiya cement that I'm putting on. I do find that the other stuff goes off way too quickly for my uh, not quite so nimble hands. So there we go. Seems I'm being a little bit quiet. I'm going to have another piece of this hoisin duck uh, sushi. I hope you guys are having something nice to eat today. I'm actually having roast lamb. Which is cooking away right now. We can't get those on. Lined up, whoops. I do have a reputation for being a bit of a speed builder, which I'm trying to control my urges to go quickly and take my time with these because I do. I am actually past the stage of not caring anymore. I do kind of want them to look reasonably decent, but as I am just a novice, if they don't turn out perfect, I'm not that bothered, you know? It's the doing that's the fun part. That's what I think anyway. So let's get a couple of uh, pegs on there. And hopefully they'll be set when we come back in a second. So um, I've already put these flaps on. I'm not going to put these. I think these are guns. I'm going to leave them off. I've built the undercarriage, but I'm leaving it off until it's all been painted. I've put the um, main surfaces of the airframe together. The pilot is in. I'm not going to be doing the um, cockpit cover. I'm not going to be attaching that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put this engine in with our pin for the propeller. So we're going to stick that in first. Just like that. Put that there to set. And we're going to put that into this um, this frame section. I haven't uh, tried putting this together yet, but it looks pretty simple. I don't think it matters which way it goes. Well, maybe it does. Oh, no, there we go. All right, well, that's in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put glue around the uh, back of it and hope that just sets in a bit. Oops, there we go. So that there is in place. I can see these two little holes, which I think may be machine gun. I'm not quite sure. That's telling me that's the top. Got a little bit of excess that I just want to cut off there. seems to go seems to go together okay it doesn't really seem to match up though which is kind of bizarre because you can see there's a mountain sort of thing here and then when we flip it around the other side it doesn't match so that's a bit worrying that is bizarre definitely doesn't go that way and we're just going to have to try and centre it up as best we can, I think. And just pretend that those little bits there don't exist. Or maybe we could just cut that off a little bit. I think I'm going to... We're going to have to improvise a little bit here. So 
Sorry about that. Oh my god, he's broken it. Yeah, I think that's going to be the best way we can deal with it. It doesn't seem to fit quite properly. I'm going to use that little point there as my centre. My centre line. That might be a bit much glue, but never mind. Mmm. Just doesn't match that, does it? Don't know what's going on there. Cheers. <clears throat> mm, that is a bit, a bit of a bother. I suppose this is what happens when you spend your money on really old kits. I'm going to hold that in place. So these here are um, extra auxiliary fuel tanks. I've painted these in dark iron because, again, there isn't really any painting instructions on what you're supposed to do with this. And I just didn't want everything to be um, aluminium. I'm actually going to be using this AK aluminium that i randomly bought every pretty much all my other paints well all my pots are tamias i do have a few humbrols kicking about and i do have some of these um rather nice ak kits but this is the only pot kit that pot paint that i've got from ak so i just kind of thinking it might be different from the flat aluminium which i've used for a few other bits and bobs so now i think we're going to try and get this uh wing section on before everything sets just in case we don't get a very good well, it seems to go together so, I don't know. okay let's get some glue on here hope for the best Incidentally, I actually, I actually had to open this uh, hole up here, which is for the, can't find it at the moment, it's for the stand, as that seemed to be the main problem in getting everything together. So I have had to kind of bodge my way through this a little bit. Not intentionally, not for the want of trying, the want of trying to do it kind of right, but there we go, that's that in place. Let's see if we can't get these in. I did dry fit these, and they only go in one way. Let's see if we can hold all this together at once. did have to open that that hole up a little bit as well so there we go so that's about as much as i'm going to be doing in this this film anyway this video like i said all these parts are going to be added on after we've got the tail wheel we've got the auxiliary fuel tanks we've got the landing gear we've got our propeller and we've got whatever little extra bits and bobs we've got here which i think are just mainly a couple of guns and not quite sure. I think one of them is an aerial as well. Um, not too sure what to do about filling the gaps. I think I probably will have a go at filling some of these gaps in before I go to paint it because they are a bit unsightly. These. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think we'll have a go at filling. So anyway, um, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll be back later on. I think what I'll do is I'll just 
I'll go off and prime it on my own and then I'll do a film of putting the um, aluminium top coat on because that's kind of more interesting than watching me prime I suppose so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this little video I hope I haven't bored you too much with my uh, feeding session I'll catch you later on be seeing you